I'm Lisa C, the partner of Consumer Practice in Hydrate Hong Kong. I believe CHRO is an increasingly important position in many of the organizations, playing a key role in driving people and culture agenda. In some of the organizations, actually the title has changed to Chief People Officer or Chief People and Culture Officer in order to better reflect the role. In the last three years in Hong Kong, a lot of CHRO has been leading companies through pandemic, defining future of work, digitalization, and also enhancing employee experience. CHRO is expected to be more aware of external environment and react effectively and efficiently. I think the expectation to become a strong business partner is actually getting higher. Today, the CHRO is expected to have strong business acumen with outside in mindset. They need to be more aware of social environment and external situation and to be able to react effectively. I also expect more board appointment opportunities for CHRO and more involvement in ESG subject. Number one, I think with AI and ChatGPT, it will have a big impact on how organization will operate. This will actually require different talent capability down the road. Second is the hybrid ways of working, which a lot of organization is figuring out how to work it out and make it efficient. Third one is the expectation on employee wellness from staff, employee, as well as organization. Number one, I think you need to have strong, inclusive and empathetic leadership style. Number two, I think it is important to be able to disrupt and challenge status quo. Last one, I would say you need to be very resilient. I believe mental and physical fitness is actually important to sustain performance.